why is it important to, to maintain the sperm bank? There are too many people who are childless and want to have children. And without a national approach, it means that people have to go abroad or use unregulated services. And it's also time that people have access, equal access to treatment rather than forced to go to very expensive uh, private clinics, which is the case at the moment. I know women myself who've been to Denmark and they have children by Danish fathers yeah. as a result. Is there a matter of national pride here, do you think? There is a different approach in Denmark when it comes to talking about these issues, and that's really the main thing. The men are open to, to uh, take pride in being a sperm donor. Whilst here, if you talk about it, it's a bit hush-hush. And what we like to see is that men actually take as much pride in being a sperm donor as women take in being an egg donor, or indeed just uh, being an, a blood donor as well. Yeah, and it, it is quite a commitment, and it's certainly not a money spinner. You expect men who donate to visit the clinic in Birmingham twice a week for three or four months, and they get paid £35 a time for that visit to cover expenses. Absolutely, and that's why only nine donors, I look at it differently, I say, wow, we have got as many as nine donors. We yeah. weren't planning to have that many, we weren't planning to have thousands of donors in the first year, we wanted 13 or 15, but you're absolutely right, it's, it, it's a huge commitment. Uh, takes about six to nine months out of your life because there's a blood test after this as well. But more importantly, what we'll find is that men, even if they are committed to, to such a long period, in actual fact, the, the quality of the sperm probably fails. They may be good enough for uh, fresh sperm, so there may be mm. uh, proven fertility, but not necessarily for a, a sperm donor. It's not just, though, that short commitment. It's lifetime commitment, isn't it? Yes. Because those men, yeah. their details will be there for yeah. the child if they want to find out who yeah. well, their father is. Is that putting some people off, do you think? Um, first of all, it's not a father, it's a donor. And of course it will put some men off, and, and that's one of the reasons why we counsel donors and say be aware that by the time they're 18 they may well want to find out about you. But that's exactly what it is, is curiosity, is wanting to find out about their genes, where does my curly hair come from, my musical talent. It's not about looking for a replacement father or a replacement parent, and that's very important to realise. Just briefly before we finish, Lara, tell us about the campaign, because in Denmark they made a big thing about Vikings and, you know, having children all around the world, that sort of thing. What's the the campaign going to be here? We take a much more holistic approach. It's okay. not just about great men because all men are great.